had a single out. Uh, you went to Nashville this time. Yeah, we like uh, recording recording in uh, a little more out of the way places. You know, I couldn't imagine recording in New York City or Los Angeles. I think it would be too much to do, too many distractions. Yeah. And uh, Nashville is a very nice place. It's uh, despite all its music business and all its uh, size, it's still a pretty small town. Yeah. The uh, any surprises this time on the record? Uh, cover songs? Uh, uh, there is a cover song, actually. Uh, it's a Wire song from, I think, the Pink Flag record called Strange. And that's one that's kind of a rave of. We just did it in one day and knocked it out. And it sounds real good. It fits the record real well. How long did you take to record the album this time? Less or more than previous efforts? About the same as the last. We were in the studio for just under a month, and we mixed it in just under a month. Well, it's been kind of an eventful year for the band. You've worked with uh, some other people, noticeably uh, Warren Zevon. Uh, you put out the Dead Letter Office LP, and uh, in between all that, managed to get immortalized in Pete Buck comics. <laughs> uh, I, I tell you, that guy's probably making a fortune in, in, in Loganville or wherever he's from. I, I've seen that comic. I'm just glad it wasn't me, but it's, a, you know, it's, it's pretty well done. Do you think there are going to be any further adventures? Uh, I think he pretty much got all the adventures in that one. I don't know. It's up to him. What did you think about the concept of having a format Fuhrer that would... Uh, Oversee oh. music. Well, I know he exists. I've, I've seen him. <laughs> <laughs> or he um, did. <laughs> the new song is called The One I Love uh, from Document. It seems like I'd heard it before. Have you played it very much? Yeah, we did it uh, on most of the last tour, uh -huh. uh, trying to work it up. It's one of the older songs on this record. It's also the most straightforward song on this record. Uh, we did our songwriting. We're trying to approach things a little differently and make things a little more chaotic, make a little less sense. But uh, since this was the most straightforward, we decided to make it the single. Yeah, you can you can really hear the lyrics. I don't maybe it's my imagination. It almost seems like a, a process of going from album to album. The words become clearer and clearer. Do you perceive that? That's that's very possible. I think uh, getting more comfortable with what you're doing uh, makes it easier to put the words out front. Plus, uh, you know, the writing gets better, the words get get better, so it's uh, it's a lot easier to stick them out there. So is this just plain and simply a, a love song up front? Uh, I think so, as near as I can tell. <laughs> I mean, but who knows what goes on in Michael's mind? Uh, this is the one I love, new from REM, from the forthcoming. When's it coming out? Uh, this tomorrow, I think. Tomorrow, forthcoming LP document, REM on album 88. The one I love is the new song from REM's forthcoming LP document. Uh, we're talking to Mike Mills, bass player. I guess you got those soaring harmonies in there in that song too, Mike. <laughs> Some would say soaring, some would say screeching. Uh, <laughs> it's up to the listener. The guitar sounds on that particular song are reminiscent to me of what Phil Spector did with uh, the George Harrison record, All Things Must Pass. Did you did you go for kind of a wall of sound with the guitars on that one? This is our massive guitar record. There are eight million guitars on this record. Yeah. Uh, it's Peter, the best sound on that one that you hear, like in the solo, I think, is uh, this guitar Peter bought its... It's green paisley and it's shaped like a paisley. Oh wow! So when you go on the road, are you gonna have? Are you gonna hire about five guys with real long hair to get out there, <laughs> kick and play guitar? Uh, we might, you never know. One or two, anyway. So you're gonna, you are gonna be going out on the road in one of those uh, REM caravans, then. right? Right. We're leaving. Uh, well, we start the American tour October 1st, and uh, we'll be in Atlanta, the 24th and 25th. Yeah. Of November. Of November, right around Thanksgiving. Right before Thanksgiving. You're going to be playing at the uh, Fox the Theater? Fabulous Fox Theater. All right, I guess glad. we can say that on the internet. Yeah, go for okay, it. <laughs> the album's document. Are there any old, old, old songs on the record? Um, no, we uh, we couldn't resurrect any for this one. There, uh, the oldest one is, is, I think, the one I love in uh, Firehouse, because we did those on tour, mm -hmm. uh, the last tour. You going to have any innovative bands supporting you this time out? Um, 10,000 Maniacs will do... I think we'll do the first half. I, just, I have one of their shirts on right now. And the DBs are doing the second half. Oh, so will the DBs be at the Fox? Uh, I believe so, yeah. Well, okay. Uh, also this year, you, uh, you had a project I know you guys have been thinking about for a long time come to fruition. Right. You worked with Warren Zevon on his LP, Sentimental Hygiene. Uh-huh. Uh, they work a lot slower out in Los Angeles. <laughs> so yeah. it finally got around to being recorded. And, and uh, Bill and Peter and I went out there and, and cut, uh, I guess, eight or nine of the tracks on it and Michael sang a little bit on one or two of them. Uh, it was a lot of fun. Warren's a, a really great guy, real, very funny, very dry. And uh, he got a ton of great people. Uh, Bob, We got to meet Bob Dylan ever so briefly. Yeah, I was, I was going to ask about that. There were some serious heavyweights playing along. I yeah. wondered if you got to end up jamming with yeah, those I guys. Yeah, I said, how you doing? He said, okay. <laughs> and, then, uh, 
And uh, Neil Young, we got to meet Neil, and he was really funny. He was great. Yeah, you think you might end up doing any work with those guys? Oh, I doubt it. Um, yeah. I think they can probably find their pick of people to work with. Well, R.E.M., uh, that, that little old band from Barber <laughs> Street, come a long way to be playing and singing with Bobby Dylan. Uh, are you going to be doing any stadium shows, any massive things? Any? No, we're trying to stay out of the massive parts. Yeah. Uh, we do what we can to not play you know, arenas. We do mm -hmm. only when we have to. Are you going to play Europe? We're doing uh, four shows over there in September. Just uh, mostly a lot of press yeah. and television over there. Well, fabulous. Uh, are you going to be making videos? Any cool yeah. videos this oh, time? Oh, we've made the videos. We got uh, one done. The one for The One I Love is by Robert Longo. Uh, and it's really neat. Um, Jim Herbert did one for the second single, which I've seen, and it's fabulous. So, and, we, uh, so we, more. we need to all hold our breath. <laughs> and, uh, Keep your TV's on. Well, Mike Mills, uh, we appreciate you, as always, stopping by and uh, checking in at Album 88. My pleasure, Rob. The record's documented. It's coming out. I've got a cut here to play off the Warren Zevon album. Right. Uh, Sentimental Hygiene. It's called Even a Dog Can Shake Hands. Can you shed some light on that song for us? Well, we co-wrote it with Warren. We were uh, playing around in the studio and came up with the riff. And uh, he had been looking for a song uh, with which he could kind of bitch it at the, you know, the fat cat record people out in Los Angeles. And he said, he said, this is what I've been looking for. So he put these words that he had down to it, and uh, and he really liked it. So he stuck it on the record. So this is Warren Zevon and me and Peter and Bill. So when y'all play live together, what's the band called? What with Warren? Yeah. Uh, Monkey Wash, Donkey Rinse. <laughs> Mon so here we have Monkey <laughs> Wash, Donkey Rinse on album '88. Atlanta's Album 88, some music there from Warren Zevon. Hope you enjoyed the interview there with Album 88's Rob Maynard and Mike Mills from the group R.E.M. Back into more music now from the album Dust. This is Wildflowers on Atlanta's Album 88.